Hello and welcome to Cupcakes. In this video, I'll show you how I created this pregnant belly using a Teddy's chocolate orange. The first thing I did was prepare my chocolate orange and I did this by popping a little bit of chocolate in the microwave and melting it down, popping it into a piping bag and any chocolate oranges which had loose segments, I just snipped the tip off that piping bag and squirted chocolate through the center and left it to set. To create the bust, I used two Cadbury's cream eggs and just attached them with a little bit of melted chocolate or royal icing. I'm resting mine on a 4 inch cake card, I'm also using a rolling pin, I have two different plunger cutters, one's a circle and one's a flower, a sharp knife, icing sugar, water and a paintbrush and two different colours of fondant. The first thing I did was roll out my pale blue fondant and I just ensured it was big enough to cover both the cream eggs and the chocolate oranges and I'm just going to neaten the bottom of what will be the dress just using that sharp knife and then flipping it over I'm going to put a little bit of water on the back which will just allow the fondant to stick to the chocolate a little bit better and then just gently using my fingers pulling out the fondant and pushing it in to create the silhouette shape of the busts and the pregnant tummy and once you feel that it's all tucked in nice and neat underneath, I just took that sharp knife and removed any excess fondant from around the chocolate. And just using my fingers to tuck in any loose fondant and to neaten up those edges. At this point, I did decide that the dress would look better shorter, but I do wish I'd have left it a little bit longer and popped it on a bigger cake card. To decorate the dress, I rolled out some pink fondant and cut it into some thin strips and just using a little bit of water, placing it under the cream eggs and just on top of the chocolate orange, which just helps keep that pink fondant strip in place. Removing any excess with the sharp knife and neaten it off with my fingers. Then taking two smaller strands of that pink fondant, I tapered it in towards the top, removed a triangle segment from the bottom and just attached that to the centre of that pink ribbon using a little bit of water. To make the bow, I then cut another strip of the pink fondant. I fetched both edges up into the centre, attaching them with a little bit of water and then cut an even smaller strip just to go through the centre of that bow and attached them to the main body using a little bit of water again. And just played about with it until I was happy with the positioning. To decorate the dress I rolled out some of that pink fondant fairly thin and just using the flower shaped cutter I had. I cut out the shapes and just attached them to the dress using a little bit of water and pushed them into place gently with my fingers. And I did this all over the dress. Once I was happy with how many flowers I had on the dress, I decided to neaten off the bottom of that dress. I do wish I had left it long, but to try and make myself feel better, I cut out a thin piece of pink fondant. I tried to taper it in at one side by just rubbing my finger over the edge and attached it to the edge of that blue fondant using a little bit of water and just my paintbrush to guide it in to any of them thrilled edges and removed any excess fondant and just using my paintbrush to neaten it up. And deciding I needed two more little flowers, I rolled out some more pink fondant and then I was fairly happy with the end result. And there you have it, a pregnant body using chocolate. Thank you very much for watching.